This video explains how to use Cubism Viewer for Original Workflow and how to export its data. Original Workflow is suitable when you need to use the maximum functionality of Cubism. With Cubism Viewer for Original Workflow, you can read the exported runtime data from the editor, test the render of the model, physics performance, eye tracking, motion playback, and more. Expression setting files can also be created on Cubism Viewer for Original Workflow. First, load the Model 3 JSON file exported from the editor into the viewer to open the model file. Launch Viewer, and then drag and drop the created Model 3 JSON file into Viewer to load the model data. Your model should be displayed. When you click and drag the model display area, the model's face and body will follow the cursor. Scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in and out on the model. Hold down the space key and drag to move the model's position. The physics settings are exported along when you export the model files. When the parameters defined as input for the physics calculation are in action, the physics will perform accordingly. In addition, for models that have art mesh for collision detection, viewer may show the hitbox when it is clicked on. To toggle this, go to Show on the menu and then check Show Collision Detection. On the top left of Viewer, the Resource Area panel displays information about the loaded files. This includes three types of data related to the loaded file, Model 3 JSON file, the MOC3 file, textures, and Physics 3 JSON file. This is also where we add motion data files, expression files, and pose setting files for arm parts toggles. Let's try to add motion files. Select multiple motion data files and drag them onto the viewer. This automatically creates a folder named motions in the resource area and adds the motion data files into the folder. Double click on each motion to execute and check if they work. Cubism Viewer for Original Workflow allows you to set the motion's fade value. Fade value is referring to the transition duration in between motions during playback. Change the fade value to give your motion a smooth transition. To adjust the motion's fade value, select the motion and check the box for overwrite fade in box in the settings panel. Check the box to change the fade value and any change in the value will be reflected in the motion. Play back the motion to check the speed of the transition. You can also apply changes in batch. Right click on the motions folder and click convert all overwritten fade times. When the rewrite motion fade times dialog appears, set the target value and overwrite value, then click OK. This method allows you to change the fade value of the motions in one batch. Next, let's create expression files for motion files that are used for facial expressions. Please note that the procedure of loading the Motion 3 JSON file for expressions is different from the normal way of loading the Motion 3 JSON file. From the File menu, click on the Expression Motion under Import. Select one or multiple motion files and click open to automatically create XP3 JSON file from Motion 3 JSON file. They will be added to the expressions folder in the resource area. Click on any XP3 JSON file to toggle the expression on the model. Expression setting files can also be created on Cubism Viewer for original workflow. From the file menu, Click on Expression under Add to open the Add Expression dialog. Enter the name of the expression, then click OK. That creates the XP3 JSON file. Select an XP3 file that you created, and you will see a list of parameters in the Configuration panel. Check the box for any parameter to edit the value to modify the model's expression. If the eyes open parameter is set to a value other than the default, 
Some eye forms such as smile closed eyes, droopy eyes, or wide open eyes may not perform open close properly. If the expression settings causes the eyes to close too soon, we can fix this problem by setting the eye open close parameter value from addition mode to multiplication mode. To do so, select the expression, right click on the eye open parameter, and choose multiplication mode. The parameter appears as blue when it is set to multiplication mode. This will ensure that the blinking performs naturally for expressions. The expression file settings also allows you to configure fade values similar to motion file settings. Select the fade value of the expression you want to adjust, then change the fade in and fade out values. This would affect the transition speed between expressions. You can also edit fade value for multiple expressions in a batch. Right click on the expression folder and click convert all fade times. After completing the above settings, we can now export the expression files. Note that if you don't export, your settings will not be saved. From the file menu under export, click on all expression motion to export all facial expressions you've configured. Specify the export destination and click open. This will export the facial expression motion files you created earlier as XP3 JSON files. Since your application will be using the XP3 JSON files expression data, we no longer need the motion files for facial expressions. This completes the process of exporting expression files. Next, create a pose setup file. We refer to it as the pose 3 JSON file, which is used for switching between model parts. Models with multiple sets of arms can use a pose setting file to toggle between them in order to control which arm to be displayed during specific motion playback. Pose setting file is not required if your model does not switch arms. First, go to the file menu and under add, click on pose. Add a pose setting file to the resource area. Click on the created pose setting file all the part ID will be listed in the settings panel. Find the part ID of the arm in the list and set the group number. When group number is set, only one part of each group will be displayed. As a quick test, set the group numbers of arms A and B to zero. Now only one of two arms in group zero will be displayed. If the arm display is configured in the motion data file, the arms will switch to the correct one during motion playback. Please refer to our previous tutorial for more details about switching arms and making animation files. After completing the above settings, we're ready to export the file. Go to File menu under Export and click Pose. This completes the preparation and export of the pose setup file. After we're done with all the necessary settings made in the viewer, let's overwrite the Model 3 JSON file to save the settings. From the file menu under export, click Model Settings. Overwrite the Model 3 JSON file. The setting is now saved. Next time when we load the saved model settings file in viewer again, it will be set up with the same settings configuration as this time. Files edited in the viewer have an asterisk at the end of each file's name in the resource area. The asterisk will disappear if the latest update has been saved properly, so look out for the sign when you're editing in the viewer. The created data can be incorporated into games and applications. Check the manual site for more detailed descriptions of specific functions.